St. Pete Beach, Florida is a ghost town. It looks like I'll be the last man standing for Inside Edition. Inside Edition producer Bob South found not a soul in sight. Obviously, there's nobody on the beach. It's deserted. On the sidewalks, piles of debris from Hurricane Helene left uncollected. Too late now. Satellite images show the size of Milton feared to be the storm of the century. On one hand, it's absolutely beautiful, and on the other, it is absolutely terrifying. It's being called Apocalypse Milton, Doom Storm, Monstrous Milton. Some areas could see surge values at 10 to 15 feet. Local officials are not holding back. Their message, if you haven't evacuated, good luck. There will be no fire, there will be no EMS, there will be no police, you're on your own. If you choose to stay, find yourself a permanent marker, write your name, your date of birth, and your next of kin on your arm so we know who you are and who to contact. But thousands of others are heeding the warning to get out. Many fleeing Florida at the last minute were in for major sticker shock. A one-way ticket out of Tampa to St. Louis cost more than $2,000. Now social media is flooded with complaints about airlines and hotels price gouging. We spoke to CBS Morning's featured host Vladimir Dutier, who's in Tampa covering the hurricane. For those who are choosing to stay, uh, it's not looking good. I mean, we're right now still a couple of hours away from the storm actually hitting landfall, and we're already feeling 35 mile an hour winds. Uh, and you can see behind me, Stephen, that that water is starting to surge.